Hey everyone, it's Jessica, the Vegan Vixen. I was going to film outside today, but I thought you may not be able to hear me. And because my camera quality is not the most fabulous of camera quality, um, I wanted you to be able to see this outfit up close and personal. Uh, so I was sent some super awesome stuff, and I thought about it, and I was going to do a haul video with this stuff. But I got a gift certificate as well, so I'm going to combine both hauls into one video next week. Um, I'll probably film it this weekend. I think everything should arrive tomorrow or Saturday, something like that. So I may be busy filming tomorrow. Um, and I don't know if you can see like the mess that, that's behind me. That's like my backlog of stuff that I have to film. This uh, week has been like crazy busy and so much stuff has come in and I have like side projects I'm working on and I'm all over the place so I'm trying to make sure that I get to you guys and I can touch the touch out to you and go to the hospital and handle new treatments and it's been chaotic to say the least. Um, some of my filming times now may just like be whenever I can fit it in. Um, if I'm not sleeping, I may just like do me up and film. I don't know. Um, actually last night I slept. I did. I got a high ranking on my sleep too, so that's pretty exciting. My new medicine. I think it's my new medicine, so yeah. <laughs> Go me. <laughs> um... Yes. So, my mom should be here in, oh, 20 minutes, so I have to get this video done and um, hopefully loaded in a matter of less than 20 minutes. Go me, right? Um, hmm. Matcha. Oh, I mixed this, by the way. I'm going to do a matcha video for you. Skeetster? I think that's your name? I'm doing a matcha video for you. Um... Or anybody else who cares. But juicing, matcha, it's all coming your way. Again, I'm trying for next week, but I am backlogged in stuff. So maybe in two weeks, everything is going to come together. I just have so much stuff to get sorted through here. It's been crazy. I know. It's like almost three minutes of me telling you how crazy my life is. Um, okay, so let's talk about my outfit. Yes. This top. You probably won't find unless maybe you get lucky on eBay, but this is an oldie, but a goodie in my opinion. It's my Howdy top from Wild Fox. It's cropped. I love this top. It was like one of the most important pieces that I had to own. And my husband was like, you'll never wear it. Oh, that's where I forgot to put on rings. Gotta remind myself before I leave. Never to wear it, or that I'll never wear it, and I've shown him. I wear it all the time. Mm. Love it. If you're watching, mm -hmm. he's probably going to come home tonight and be like, mm -hmm. he watches these videos while at work. So, yeah, that's great. Um, House of Harlow, Chelsea Sunnies. I really want the tortoise ones, or leopard one. They actually have two. I want the lighter ones. I think the rad. And this I got like 85 years ago, <laughs> legitimately, like it's an old, old, old turban from a seller that is not even on Etsy anymore. I don't know why, because he makes like the most amazing turbs I've ever purchased, and it's good. It's studded. Um, I'm going to show you these boots. I'm actually doing a full review on these boots. These are vegan, and these are fabulous. Like, I'm really impressed. I've been looking, this is like the last vegan replacement shoe um, in terms of replacements that I've been searching for, an ankle length moto boot that doesn't suck. So, it's taken me months and months and months, like six of them, but I got a pair, and um, they're quite comfy. Okay, so I'm going to stand up and show you, like, the item of the day. Oh, and also I'm wearing a red lace American Apparel bra to go with the item of the day. <laughs> And I almost legitimately just knocked my cell phone off the couch. Cool. Um, yes, so these are the something something moto shorts from Unif. Oh boy, how do I sound right now? Hold on, let's look it up together. Okay. Okay. Let's see. They are called the Motor City Shorts by Unif. I'm on it, guys. I'm on it. Oh, by the way, 
This is Lime Crimes Velveteen in red velvet, in case you were wondering. Anywho. <coughs> I was really worried about sizing on these, uh, because I apparently think I'm huge compared to what size I actually am, and I probably could have even gone down another size to wear them where they should be fitting, which is just a little bit higher, but it's okay, because I feel like... These are not made for wide-thighed ladies. Um, I have, you know, pretty decent amount of room, but the thing that that I want to share, in all honesty, to you, especially if you're considering them, is that they are padded right here. I have no hips or, like, shape at all. Whew. These are padded right here. Like, there's lots of padding happening here, I know. You're probably like, girl, stop touching yourself. But very padded in this section. So it looks like you're wider here. Um... And so I think, you know, I mean, I've got a decent amount of room all around in these, but if you're a wide thighed girl, it might be tight. And then this extra padding, it might not, it might not look that good. Um, I haven't seen many girls wearing them yet. They're still pretty new. Um, so I just want to be really frank with you that if you have a wider thigh, maybe even just consider going a full size up. I talked to a girl who has wide thighs, who has a pair and she said she went up a size because she was worried. Um, I actually went down a size and grateful that I did. Um, but again, I have, I'm like a stick, like my legs are literally, my feet are touching. Like I'm like a stick right here. There's no shape. So maybe for girls that are thinner, this is to give them a little shape. I'm not, I'm not sure of the, or the intention, but... I'm like super duper in love with these shorts. Um, so I say maybe if you're very thin and you don't have a lot of shape, I am so out of breath. I might have to sit down. I just really wanted to show you the outfit. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you're a thin girl, like super thin, stick, like no shape, like a boy like me, maybe consider going down a size. Um, or maybe not because I just tend to buy a size up in shorts because I'm always like, I'm going to be so fat, and then, and then I'm going to have rolls, and, you know, I act like a fool, and my husband's like, Phew. so, <laughs> I just don't ever want to look like I'm trying to fit into a size that I'm not, if, it, I mean, I'm sure all of you get that, like, you just don't want to look like you're trying, um, so, I was convinced by, like, 85 people to go down a size, and grateful as hell I am, um, that I did, because they actually... They fit pretty well, and I've got a good amount of room, especially when I sit. I've got a ton of room in the back, um, and the legs are decent. I was very concerned about the legs making me look a little chunky um, because I heard from a lot of girls that they're really tight, so I was nervous, but these were an amazing little gift to me, and uh, they are seriously awesome. And they're vegan! All my vegan friends out there. Everything I'm wearing is vegan, including the boots. I'm just going to call it veganism from now on because I think it's fun. Um, but yes. Uh, so this is like my favorite, one of my favorite next to my I Hate Mornings top, which again, that one's probably going to be the rarest find of Wild Fox goodness. And I really did feel like this red lace bra just pulled these shorts together so nicely. And, you know, I'm super fair, and uh, that's just how I roll all year. And I, I think these colors are very complementary to my fair-skinned self. So, yes. Um, I'm just really jazzed. Oh, and also, what am I wearing, jewelry-wise? I wish I had my rings on. That'd be cool. Dummy. Um, again, I won't say it, but that's the feeling, the general feeling of life. And then I made this, my, one of my House of Harlow necklaces broke, so I was like, screw that, made this bracelet from that, my normal three bracelets that I made and I wear every day, and my Kenneth J. Lane Zeebs, Z giraffe, black and white giraffe, I don't know, the giraffes are my favorite, why do I call it zebra, I don't know, just ignore the girl on medication, um, this new piece I got from Forever 21, I think I showed you guys a few days ago. But if I didn't, it's so awesome. I really, I couldn't help myself. I just, I don't even know. I think it was $1.80. It was probably like three eighty, dollars but whatever. Oh, so I was super gluing yesterday. Like, totally random. Um, super gluing yesterday, 
And, like, I still have it stuck on me in spots. Like, I've got, like, black crap. Oh, God. It was just, like, I was highly, highly medicated when I was super gluing. It was the worst idea. Like, my husband had to take the glue away from me. It got really, it got intense up in here with the super glue. Me and crazy glue, we are not cool together. My Michael Kors watch and my quartz mala that I wear 24-7, hopefully healing me as I wear it. Bah. Okay, my videos are super short this week. Pretty impressive. It's also because my breathing hurts and, um, well, I have a deadline today. I, I actually have like a 12-minute a deadline. So, please take the time. It's actually my mom's always late, so it's probably going to be more like a 27-minute deadline. But take time. Hit subscribe up above. Awesome stuff is coming your way this haul next week. You're going to be like, what? <laughs> I just cracked like, like a boy. <laughs> You're going to love that haul next week, so stay tuned. <laughs> My chest hurts so bad. Uh, subscribe. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. I should probably like count it. It's going to be like 27 times I've said subscribe. Uh, follow my blog, the vegan vixen blog at blogspot.com. No, there's nothing there yet, but it's coming soon. I promise you. I feel like July 1st. I'm feeling really confident about it. July 1st, launch date. Or if not, July 16th, my birthday, launch date. That's, that's probably a better day. Yeah, it is. You can Instagram me at the vegan vixen. Vine with me, the vegan vixen. V space, vegan space, vixen. And you can tumble with me, the vegan vixen blog, and tweet me at glittery things underscore. Thank you all for watching. I know I've been like cray cray spastic lately. And oh my god, my voice is really starting to go. I'm glad I'm cutting it now. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching me.